Good morning, world. Today, I'm gonna make some tropical Russian crepes. I am currently on a hunt for some coconuts. There's always a lot of coconut trees on the side of the road over here. It's hot, but safety first. This is technically private property, but um, I'm sure they won't mind. Target identified. Just gotta get through this shrub. There's about six, seven good coconuts up there. Whew, my phone got overheated and did not record me climbing that coconut tree, but I did get four down. It's that hot outside. I'm sweating balls right now. I'm gonna climb back up and see if I can get more. All right, that's a pretty decent harvest right there. Oh my goodness, it is so freaking hot. I gotta go for a swim real quick. I'm gonna strain this coconut water because there's some stuff floating around in there. This is almost four cups. So the first ingredient, two eggs. I'm gonna use this hand mixer to make my life a little easier. Now, usually at this point, I would add two tablespoons of sugar. The coconut water is naturally sweet, so it's just not necessary. I'm gonna try my best to scrape out these coconuts. I forgot that I ran out of salt. There's sodium in coconut water, so you don't even really need salt, but usually I add a pinch of salt. Or you could just use a little bit of salt water from the ocean. Next ingredient, flour. Two cups of flour. One, two-ish. The original recipe used three cups of milk. I'm just gonna keep adding this until I get the right consistency. Add it slowly. <laughs> so far, we only have three ingredients. So delicious. I completely forgot you also actually have to add two tablespoons of oil. So it's actually four ingredients. It's just two eggs, a cup of coconuts, two cups of flour, and two tablespoons of oil. So now that the batter is ready, it's time to make some crepes. Usually I use a gas stove, but I'm gonna try something I've never done before. I'm gonna use this little induction stove. Usually I just have two 300 watt batteries wired together, but now I have a 2400 watt Blue Eddy battery. This video is sponsored by Blue Eddy, so I'm gonna take a moment to show you guys my new electrical setup. Makes a perfect little stand for this fan right between my two front seats. The battery has both AC and DC ports, USB ports, C ports. Give me a second. You can also control all of the settings from the Blue Eddy app. You can turn the battery on and off. That way if I'm chilling in my bed and I want to turn the lights off without getting up, I can just do it from my phone. I had a fan running all day yesterday and all night keeping me cool. I would have died if it wasn't for that. It's a big battery. It's about 60 pounds. I have this power strip connected where I'm running my induction stove. My lights are powered. I'm charging my speaker right now and I'm charging my phone. I'm just happy because I don't really have to worry about running out of power anymore. There's a way to recharge 
accomplish this with solar. But since I don't have solar, anytime I have hookups or I'm staying at a friend's place, I just plug it right into the wall. I can also charge this while I'm driving. So the coolest thing about it is that it's not gonna pull more power from my car battery than what I need to start my car. So if I accidentally leave this plugged in, I don't have to worry about my car battery dying. That's definitely happened to me a few times where I've just been charging my two batteries with the car plug and I've completely forgot to unplug it when I parked and then my battery has died and actually my alternator has gone out before too. If one of my on-grid friend's power goes out, if my brother's power goes out during a hurricane, I can just bring this battery into their home and at 100% capacity, it'll keep a big refrigerator running for about 20 to 30 hours, which is very impressive. Because it has so much power, I could get a refrigerator finally. I am hoping that Blue Eddy will send me some solar panels so that I can charge this thing up with solar. That'll be the next level of being off-grid. Anyways, back to our crepes. We're gonna make mini crepes because this little induction stove came with this cute little pan and I just wanna use it. I'm curious to see how much power this is gonna take up while the fan is running. Right now the battery is at 41%. For the very first crepe, we just put a little bit of oil. That was too much. Just a tiny bit. Just pour a little bit of dough and then just spread it around like that. The better. There's actually a Russian saying that says the first crepe is always shit. Первый блин кома translates to the first crepe is always like in a ball. So don't feel bad if the first time you try something it looks like shit. My first crepe didn't turn out that bad because I'm low-key a pro. Crepes are basically Russian tortillas. Let's see how the first one tastes. Oh my god. Mmm. I've never actually made this before. But this is delicious. Mm. Oh, that's good. And I'm gonna chop up some fruit. So I have been running this on high for an hour and five minutes and the battery is now down to 22%. So it did suck a lot of my battery, but I mean, this is super hot. This is like a legitimate stove. I'm impressed. At least I know it's an option. If I run out of gas, I'm also gonna make some eggs. Here's my friend Sam. She's stopping by to uh, help me finish these green chickies. <laughs> I suppose it's a good time to take the paddleboard out. What's up, Abby? You found us? Came up to the island? Way to go, Katia! <laughs> and that concludes a typical day in Florida. A perfect day, in my opinion. Way to go, Abby! Good job, girlfriend! That's my girl! And a little gift from the universe brought us some goggles. Wow, this day couldn't get any better. Merry Christmas! I couldn't have asked for anything better. This is pretty amazing. I would like to make a little curtain to keep my sewing machine up here. Just, uh, it's so hot today. I'm exhausted. And it's 
It's only like 7 o'clock right now. I really want to get started on this sewing project, but it looks like it might have to wait until tomorrow.